ఫార్టీ నైన్ అంటే సంతానం ఫార్టీ నైన్ అంటే సంతోషం హాయ్ హలో వెల్కమ్ టు ఐ డ్రీమ్ నేను మీ కతర్ నాగ్ కావ్య సో సంక్రాంతి అంటే మన మూవీ లవర్స్ అందరికీ చాలా చాలా స్పెషల్ ఎందుకంటే మూవీస్ అన్నీ రిలీజ్ అవ్వబోతాయి దట్ టూ స్పెషల్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఆ టైంలో రిలీజ్ అయ్యే సినిమాలన్నీ వాటిని చూసిన తర్వాత మనము కంప్లీట్ సంక్రాంతి సెలబ్రేట్ చేసుకుంటాం సో మరి అలాంటి సంక్రాంతి టైంలో మనందరికీ ఇష్టమైన మన బాలీబాబు గారి సినిమా వచ్చేస్తుంది వీర సింహారెడ్డి సో జనవరి ట్వెల్త్న రిలీజ్ కాబోతుంది ఆ సినిమాకి సంబంధించిన ఏ అప్డేట్ వచ్చినా అలా అలా చిన్న చిన్న పండుగలు చేసుకుంటూనే ఉన్నాం సో ఇంకా అస్సలు ఆలస్యం చేయకుండా ఒక బ్యూటిఫుల్ గర్ల్ని మీకు పరిచయం చేయబోతున్నాను ఆల్రెడీ మనందరికీ తెలుసు ఎందుకంటే ఆ పాట ట్రెండింగ్లో ఉంది మా బావ మనోభావాలు దెబ్బతింటున్నాయి అంటే మనం ఇప్పుడు పాడే బదులు తనతోనే పాడిద్దాము ఎందుకంటే తను ఆల్రెడీ లిప్సింగ్ చేసింది ఆ సాంగ్కి డాన్స్ చేసింది ఇప్పుడు మన ముందు ఉంది షీస్ నన్ అదర్ దెన్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ చంద్రికా రవి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ ద లవ్లీ వెల్కమ్ యా హ్యాపీ సంక్రాంతి హ్యాపీ న్యూ ఇయర్ హ్యాపీ న్యూ ఇయర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో హవ్ ఆర్ యూ హవ్ ఆర్ యూ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ద సాంగ్ ఆనెస్ట్లీ ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ ఇట్స్ సెట్ ఇన్ యర్ um mm. you know i think maybe because i also live somewhere else mm. uh and i'm getting the the reception from obviously online and being here now it still feels like a dream you know i i i'm still like a small town australian girl that you know was born in australia and had a dream to do indian films and do it in this way i've always wanted to do it this way um mm. so it really feels like a dream and still like i i landed this morning i'm not tired it's like i'm just floating through it um <laughs> are you enjoying i of course that's i think that's why i'm floating through it i think how is the, hyderabad i love hyderabad this is my third time but okay. this is actually the first time where i'm actually seeing things you know because when we shot i went straight to film city shot for five days and i left immediately mm. and before that i was like 12 or 13 when i came so i can't remember anything um so now to actually see the side of india mm. properly you know driving around like normally i'm on my phone doing work but this every drive here there i'm like watching everything <laughs> okay. um and the people are beautiful the people are so nice and welcoming oh. it's thank it's you lovely. half of them <laughs> it's it's lovely it's lovely being here okay so chandrika you are from australia and your name is like pakka telugu girl so what's the thing uh so my father is malayali my mother is tamil uh, they were both born in singapore and my grandmother knew sanskrit and mm-hmm. so my guru and her came up with the name chandrika mm-hmm. um so i i'm also proud that it's a it's a pakka south indian name you know like yes. even in in the west when they're like what's your name is it chandrika i'm like no it's chandrika you, <laughs> you have to say it properly yeah, it's chandrika ravi okay. you know um that's something i've also fought for for a long time because i didn't want to just be this like westernized actress i wanted to show that mm-hmm. i'm a mix of both east and west mm-hmm. okay so have you learned telugu I'm because learning I'm learning I I actually I'm, I'm learning that I'm picking up a lot more because mm-hmm. I've been watching a lot more films mm-hmm. that's how I learned you know an American accent that's how I I learned Malayalam from my grandparents and watching movies and stuff I'm definitely picking up a lot more I'm actually understanding a lot more than I thought I would mm-hmm. um but there's that fear that I might answer the wrong thing or something so I'm always like wait can you say you are able to understand Telugu a bit a bit yeah a bit, a bit. That's um great. you know this is my second Telugu film but I I wanted to make sure I wasn't just an actress that was just doing a song or a film mm-hmm. in a language that I didn't understand and go and see it later that's it I I want to be a part of it you know because mm-hmm. it's my it's the way I respect someone's culture so uh and you know like with Tamil films I can read and write Malayalam I understand uh Hindi I'm learning I want to make sure I'm a part of it because it's mutual respect for yeah. your language also Balakrishna Garu is most uh, more particular about Telugu language yes. he speaks only Telugu he's like uh, adbhutam you yes. say like it's a yes. mackerel and uh, he's a power uh, uh, power house he literally he yeah. literally is the god of masses yeah so how it was working with him and um, you have done as great song so um how is the experience i mean going into it obviously i knew the level of greatness mm-hmm. of sir and i knew obviously the level of greatness of maitri movie makers and gopi chand sir and everything i knew the level that i was walking into but i I think again being the small town girl that's still in LA like I I see movies and stuff there but it's a different thing being an Indian person you know Indian f- films are very different to us it's literally a part of our culture so going into it I knew what I was doing was very great I knew that I was very lucky to be there but I didn't anticipate this I didn't anticipate this much love and respect because I am sharing space with sir that's a big deal and not just sharing space with him dancing with him on a level that no one has done you know before um 
so I, I'm so grateful for the opportunity and I'm also grateful that Sir didn't make it a very like he's a great person and I can't come close to him or anything you know we shared a lot of time away from the camera uh, there was days he would bring his iPad and he would show me his father's films show me his oh, films that's great. he'd show me newspaper articles of his you know his institutions and told me about his family and stuff and there was no he didn't make me feel small or like an outsider or someone that was way junior than sir you know there was nothing of that mm. and even on the last day he came all the way to me to say bye and mm. gave me a hug and left and everyone was like chandrika i don't think you understand mm. he respects you as a person you know and not not everyone can also get that it's it's it, i i always say that i think i've done something good in my life to to have done something like this um but those memories with sir i'm i'm going to cherish for the rest of my life because i grew up watching sir and his father's films you know and my dad my dad always talks about how he loved sir's father's films because my dad loved mythological song uh, movies mm. so it's like a pinch me moment like wow <laughs> you know like you did this okay how have you felt after like uh, listening to all the history of uh, balakrishna garu i think if as immersed as i have been in films uh, internationally my whole life I, you know i've studied acting i've done diplomas this that or whatever so i've learned about films from a very young age in western and indian cinema but the love that we have as indians for cinema is very different from the rest of the world so the experience of performing with someone and it's for me it was more than just uh doing a film because as a trained dancer and actress yeah. i was able to perform what i love doing with someone who has loved what he's doing for you know eternity it seems like and is going to continue to to perform in this level and be loved for years to come that is like in itself mm. for me i i i've done you know this is my fifth film but for me this is the launch pad this is where people will recognize me as an artist they can say oh she can dance she can act she can carry screen space next to someone who is that great okay so you have shared the screen with another like beautiful girl hani rose so how it it was working with her because uh, when you sign this project like you are performing for this song do you know you are going to share the screen with uh, one more performer actually i didn't know and it was actually nice cuz she's a malayali as well yeah. so i i love hearing people speak malayalam cuz it reminds me of my grandparents okay. um and you know we also have two different roles in the film we have two different roles in the song you know okay. the song is me telling sir about my love history okay. so it was never uh, like you know a lot of people have asked like did you feel a certain type of way you know I'm I I'm a very I'm a very much a woman's woman in mm. everything I do. I you know even me doing these kind of roles it's to show that South Indian women can do these roles. We don't have to outsource and bring people from elsewhere. Uh you know South Indian women can carry screen space with great actors like Sir and be an item song dancer but also act in a film and carry heroine role that kind of thing. So for me it was like the more the merrier if we both can share space and dance alongside Sir. that's great for all of us you know it's it's a it's a great all around project so what is the situation behind that song uh it's basically me telling sir my my love history and complaining about my love history and <laughs> basically talking about how i don't want to wear churida and i just want to do my own thing basically <laughs> which sounds a lot like me in real life um and they happen to you know stumble into my little village area um so it's it's a little like you know happy moment in the film a uh, little break from the story mm mm-hmm. Do you have any related lyrics? Uh honestly the whole idea of her is uh-huh. very much me. I uh-huh. it's I'm a very um I'm passionate about everything I do. Okay. Whether it's cooking or sleeping, <laughs> anything mm-hmm. I do, I have to do it at 110%. Mm-hmm. And uh she embodies me. She the you know the the sensuality she uses um the way she's just you know it's very effortless what she what the character I was playing and that's very much me in real life. I'm very much that person. I feel like sexuality sensuality confidence these are things you you can get but mm-hmm. it's very hard to have it naturally you know uh you i can wear a baggy t-shirt but still feel the same thing it's it's inside it's an, it's an inside thing okay i have seen all your instagram pictures <laughs> yeah. i came to know that you are most tra- uh, person who values the traditions of indian culture and you are a very big lover of your father and mom yes and you have a sister i guess yes a younger sister yeah. so tell us about your family um i wouldn't be here today literally and and mm. figuratively without my mom and dad uh i was born in australia and my parents knew from a young age i wanted to do this they put me into it but 
I would go around telling people at the age of three, I would stand on tables and say, my name is Chandrika Ravi, I'm going to be famous, the world is going to know me. Mm -hmm. But my parents made sure that I was trained in everything that I said I wanted to do. They didn't want me to walk into an audition and someone say, you're not good enough, you're not trained enough, you, you don't know what you're doing. You know, where that's why I'm able to do this kind of a performance because I'm, it's my 30 years of training and dancing and acting that I was able to, you know, carry screen space with someone like Baliasa. So I always say everything I am today is because of my parents. My parents moved to a different country as immigrants. My grandparents moved from India as immigrants. They left everything they had to give me the opportunity to, to be able to chase whatever it is that I wanted to do. And now chasing this in not just India, but I'm also doing a lot of things in the West as the first South Indian girl, not just in South Indian, but first Indian girl to do a lot of the roles that I'm going for, a lot of the shows that I'm doing. I'm writing and producing my own shows. No one's done it. And it's because my parents from a young age instilled in me that you have to know your culture. You have to know what you come from, where they you come you from. The they taught me everything. You know, I can recite every mantra you need me mm -hmm. to, to, to say. Like, I pray every morning for an hour. I go to temple every Sunday, even in LA. It's, it's, it's me. You know, I, I always say I'm an Australian Indian girl. I can wear a bikini one day, but can I, wear, I can wear a patisari the next day. Yeah, and yeah. I'll be the same person. It doesn't make me any less of a human being. And that's very important because my parents knew that I wanted to be that example for other girls. I'm not the only person that grew up like this. There's a lot of girls being born now in Western societies that find it hard to balance. They find it very hard to also keep up their traditions. And I want to be a perfect example to show I was grown, I was born in a completely Western country, but I still kept my essence. I can wear this and I can wear something else and I'll still be the same person at heart. That's what I'm ob about to ask you. Like uh, in this profession, you need to wear the costumes which are related to your, uh, like uh, when you perform an item song mm -hmm. or special song, you have to wear like uh, Western wears. Mm -hmm. But in your thoughts, you have all the Indian culture. But by seeing your looks, people will judge you. 100%. So how it, how you'll take that and how you'll handle that situation? I've been judged, obviously, my whole life. You know, I've been modeling and acting and dancing since I was three. I've and in a Western world, so mm. naturally, you know, I'm Miss World. I have to wear a bikini. In uh, when you're doing ballet, you're wearing a leotard. I I was brought up with that. It's because my parents didn't make me feel like I was doing something wrong. Mm. At the end of the day, they wanted me to also do it in front of them. They didn't want me to go behind their backs and like you know change my clothes after I've walked out of the house or something. And I was judged a lot for it until I had reached a certain level of fame. Then I think people realized, oh, she's actually very Indian. She's actually very this, she's very that. But my parents already told me from the young age, all you need is your parents' support. If you are doing things that you're not going to upset your family or anything, it doesn't matter what anyone says. People mm -hmm. will eventually understand what you're trying to do. And that's why I think also with, you know, a lot of the interviews that Gopi Chan sir and Ravi sir has talked about, they've said, you know, no one could have done the role justice because there's a thin line that you can pass when you're doing something sexual or sensual. It becomes vulgar or it looks put on, it looks fake. So I think being the, one of the few South girls that can do this in an item song level without it looking vulgar, um, I hope that people can change their ideas and thoughts on it and change the judgment they might pass because at least I'm a strong woman. There's not a lot of women that are strong, you know. Mm. And if we continue to put our little our girls in a small box, they'll continue to stay in that box. They're not going to be able to explore yes. or live life the way they want to live, you know. So nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about the production house, Maitri Movie Makers. They have done all the big movies. Biggest ones. Every movie is like blockbusters. Recent Tupena is also like yes. uh, people are never Two big going ones to on forget the same day film. coming out. <laughs> yeah. So, have you watched the films of uh, Maitri Movie Makers? Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, being someone that has watched films and, you know, paid attention to things, I've always paid attention to production houses, directors, things like that, you know, like for my first Tamil film that came out, I my Telugu film was under the same banner and they are one of the biggest in, in Tamil cinema, you know. So, I've been very vigilant and, you know, I'm very aware of who, what, how. Uh, so, to have this... Like everything that has happened in this song for me, everything from Maitri Movie Makers to Gopi Chansa to Baliasa to costuming to makeup to DOP, so everyone is like the top of the game. So for me to be able to do something with them and show my talent and my hard work and dedication, 
it's it's a pat on my back because it it means that I'm recognized by someone of that 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 production house that level of greatness. You know, they're not just going to put any person in a film like that. You know, so for me, I, it, it, I really have done something good in my life to to be here. Have you faced any language problem like uh, listening to the scripts or? Um, not necessarily. Uh, the biggest thing I faced was I wanted to be perfect. I wanted mm -hmm. every pronunciation to be perfect because the song is my song. I'm majority of the song is me. There's close-ups of me and all these things. So I wanted to make sure my pronunciation was a hundred percent. Even though I'm not singing it, you can still tell, you know. And I think that's such a big thing with our cinema as well because we tend to take a lot of non South mm -hmm. Indians, non Indians also, who do our films. And I just didn't want to be another one of those people. I wanted to make sure that I was doing it 100%. So actually, after we finished filming in May, we finished. I've, you know, normally I'll watch all cinema, Tamil, Hindi, whatever. I've made it a point to watch specifically a lot of Telugu songs. Even just watching songs, that's how you pick up. That's how I learned Hindi, you know. Um, so that's actually my biggest thing now. I I was telling my parents I would love to get a Telugu tutor because this is, Telugu cinema is something I I've always wanted to get into, but never expected this level. I never thought it was going to come at like this. So I want to continue on this level. So I I want to be a hundred percent ready for it with my language as well. Super. I'm going to make you talk in Telugu. Only okay. one word, okay? Okay. Jai Balaya. Of course, <laughs> of course. That one I know. I remember the the first day, uh, the day after we finished. I finished um, at like 6 p.m. and I was at the airport by like 9. My flight was 11, mm -hmm. and there was a couple of interviews that had come out that week about me. And the people at the airport were like Jai Balaya. And at that moment, I realized by seeing you. Yeah, okay. by seeing me. And it that was like wow, you did it, Chandrika. Like you did it. Like you know, as an artist, you think every film of yours is going to be it. You think this is it. This is it. This is it. Because that's mm. why we do it. That's why we do what we love. But I've never felt it like this. I've never felt where like a fan base of someone is appreciating me. Oh, this Australian girl has come here and she's done something like this with Baliasa. That that word alone, you know, so many of my photos. Even my mother's. It's my mother's birthday today. People have wrote like J Balia Balia fans. Wish your mother happy birthday. Like oh, wow. to me, that's a huge thing. It's it's a big thing for me. Okay. And I have seen few articles comparing you with Silk Smita. So do you take it as a compliment or do you 100%. have any? I take it as a huge compliment because oh. what Silk Ma'am did was before Instagram and social media, she fought lonely by herself. You know, there was no uh, appreciation for how what she had actually done, the empowerment of a woman that she had given in that that day old cinema. No one can do it today. Now we have social media. You know, we have voices. We can speak up. We can dress differently. We can do diff different things. There's also roles available, like item songs and stuff. There weren't those things available at that time. So when people compare me to her, I think it's a, a great compliment. I actually ask her to to guide me a lot. Um, I think compliments like that are not just given. It, someone obviously sees something in you about that yeah. comparison. And so even when I did the song, I actually asked, I, I prayed to her, I said, can you please guide me? Because what you did naturally is what I want to do. I want yeah. to be the first South Indian girl that can be this person and that person and do a film covered up and also do, and I, I want to be that person. Um, so I, I, I think it's a huge compliment. I would love to one day hopefully do a biopic on her, and, you know, when they were talking about it the last time, a lot of people were saying that, you know, I'm the only person that looks like her. You know, I'm the only person that can carry off that type of a role. So pray that that happens. Yeah. Let's talk about the song and the choreography. So how it was, like, I know you are a best dancer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So how it was working with the Shekhar Master so, and the team? So, you know, uh, in, in LA, when I'm at home, throughout the day, I have YouTube playing and it's just videos. Mm -hmm. like all songs, whether it's Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, all the songs are playing non-stop. So naturally, I've watched a lot of Shaker Masters' songs. Yeah. So I had actually, I didn't know that he was actually the choreographer. I literally, when Gopi Chan called me, I was like, I'll do it. Whatever, whatever it is that y'all want me to do, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, do you want me to jump on a flight now or come? You want me to roll around? I'll do, whatever it is that you want me to do, I'll do it. So walking in and seeing Sir, I knew not only did I have to match Sir's expectations of him being a dancer, knowing I'm a dancer, because if I was just an actress, it's one thing, but I'm a trained dancer. So I have to match the performance that he's asking me to give, but also the dances that he had. You know, they are trained under him. So their 50% is my 100%. So I knew I had to go above and beyond to match them. You know, and there were times where Sir would say, no, do it better. I know you can do it better. It's not that, do it this way. And I, I never thought of it as, I'm not good. 
I thought of it as he knows I can do better. He's mm-hmm. pushing me to that level. He knows your capabilities. He knows he knows my capabilities, you know, and I'm so grateful for that because I've danced my whole life but I don't dance like this anymore. You know, it's only when I do films. So to have everything I love in one, everything has come into one song like this and to be trained by him is like incredible. Yeah. And Gopichand Malini Garu. So he's also having blockbusters. Yeah. So tell up what him how I, it was I working with him. I literally call him a, a gift from God for me, you know, because Sir saw me and we spoke. He learned my story. He's heard about my struggle. He's heard how, how about how hard I've worked there and here, uh, what I'm trying to do. And he believed that. He believed in me. He believed in the difference I was trying to make. And he knew that I could do what I want to do in his vision in doing this. And he's given me so much guidance and support and confidence to be who I want to be. And knows that I'm the first of. many i'm sure i i won't i don't want to be the last i want to be the f- i want to open the doors for many other girls like me um so i i tell him all the time that he's literally like a godsend for me because he did it so tastefully you know he had the idea for me and it was done executed well cuz in someone else's hands it might not have been done that way you know there could be a the wrong camera angle or made me look to look be look at a you know in a certain way um so i'm really grateful for that you know to to launch me as an artist not just an indian artist but internationally because what i do here is very much visible in the us because i have a big enough name there as well so i'm really grateful for for that okay can you sing us little one line first? i can't sing at all i literally cannot sing i always say like i i'm a quadruple threat i can dance model act just da- tell me could. the lyrics at least ma baba manu bablu dad patina ye so, so it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> with my mixed accent <laughs> okay once again try a little bit like coming ma baba manu bablu dad patina ye how is going to be in theater have you experienced uh, any movie in hyderabad like uh, full to mass kind never of here. movie never here never here my first film in chennai it was like a, a, a teen you know it was a, a rated a so it was that you know young audience and they broke the fire door chasing after us like i experienced it but mm. no it was never a mass song like this it now it's a, some balakrishna it, gari films literally yeah. and so even with the release i mean the the lyrical release they did that the other week um people were tagging me saying like chandika this is just the beginning like this is going to be non stop especially when the full song comes out this is just the lyrical um so i i hope i get to experience it before i leave um at least once i just want to be there it's it, it people don't understand being from a small town you know and i've dedicated my whole life to this art form of dancing and acting and modeling and everything and this is all i've ever done that that's like an appreciation that i was able to perform at such a level and people appreciate it and accept it and love it and enjoy it so this is all about the movie mm-hmm. and you are going to experience in hyderabad uh, it's all about the balai babu gar fans yes. and you are not going to hear any sounds and uh, you are not going Jai to Balea. see anything <laughs> because all the uh, papers are go- going yes. to float so I hope you will enjoy the I'm show. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to watch the film and to see like my song on screen with yeah. Balia fans. It's going to be incredible. Yes, Chandrika Ravi to manam oka rapid fire start cheyaputnam. Let's see em em interesting answers ostayo. What's your favorite drink? Uh, 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 lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> When you are most proud you morning or night all day. I'm a night owl and a morning a morning bird. I can survive on and zero sleep. Okay. Who is your inspiration and why? My parents. Uh they've sacrificed the world to give me the world. Uh and I continue to move through life with that love. Summer or winter? Winter. What something new happening in your life right now? This release. <laughs> it's new to, it's completely new to me. Okay. What's your favorite number and why? Which like Five. any that my number? birthday is on the 5th of mm-hmm. April. uh and i think it's just a number that has brought me great luck we are april girls oh really when's your yeah, birthday april 1st nobody oh, believes wow. <laughs> in which subject were you worst at school and best worst in math mm-hmm. uh best in acting and dancing i won awards in schools for dancing and acting but math was bad so bad science also chemistry all all the study studies i was not good <laughs> okay what scares you losing my family and living so far away from them okay cats or dogs dogs Oh. 
if you could live anywhere in the world where would be it which place i think uh, i would say india i would love to have a place in india oh. i think because i've grown up in australia i live in la in hollywood that's great but i would love to live in india i would love to have a place here who is your present crush <laughs> i'm going to give the same answer to everyone i say the one person that's not married uh, vijay devakonda <laughs> oh how you watch watched his films of course okay have you ever been in love in real love yes definitely you uh, my first love was always i always say my first love was my my father uh my my I still will hold my father's hand when i walk around no i don't want to hear but this but I, i've i've had that love with someone like after i've definitely been in love okay yeah. super uh, who do you love the most like not only the family apart from family like friends uh like people from my guru uh, he's passed but i he ra- he named me he he's the reason i do this uh and i have some incredible friends that are also like family that i love with my heart and soul and have been there from day one supporting me through every crazy idea and decision i've made okay one secret about you i'm actually a uh, uh, very shy people would never think it i'm very very shy in especially in public settings i tend to like suddenly go in words and people might think i'm being mean or uh, like i'm being rude but i'm very shy actually i'm a i'm a big introvert <laughs> okay Uh what is your happiest moment till now? Uh I think any moment I've spent with my family because I've been away for like 12 years. So even if it's a phone call like I just spoke to my mom on the phone while we we're getting ready. Uh those those are moments I cherish because th- that's the fuel that I need to keep going in life, you know, in everything I do. Okay, describe one word, okay? About love. Fulfilling. Marriage. Lifelong. Success. is individual money it makes the world go around more than one word but it does make the world go around <laughs> modeling or movies movies oh that's great you have to tell this dialogue pushpa ante flower ankunti va fire taggedele you are only saying no pushpa ante flower ankunti va pushpa ante flower ankunti va a flower ankunte va fire fire taggedele agge dele superb so thank you so much chandrika thank it you. was lovely talking to you lovely and talking uh, you. looking forward uh, you have to like do many more films in thank the future you. thank you thank you last and few words to your fans uh thank you all for the love and support uh it has literally changed my life i hope i continue to give you guys entertainment for many many years to come with your support and love uh make sure you watch the film and make sure you make the song a trending hit forever Thank you. Thank Good luck. Thank you.